Hi, I'm Kerry Astle Frew. I'm from V Dorset, a vegetarian and vegan catering business based in Poole. And I'm going to show you how to make a butternut squash, blue cheese, and watercress pizza. So, we're going to start off by making the dough. Now in this bowl, I've got 500 grams of strong white bread flour. Now to that, we're going to add a tablespoon of salt to start with, and just mix that together. Now here I've got 325 millilitres of lukewarm water. Now we're going to use that to activate our yeast. So I've got seven grams of yeast, that's going to go in here, and a tablespoon of sugar. Whisk those together, then we're just going to leave that for about five minutes while the yeast activates. Okay, so after a few minutes, you should see on the top of the liquid that there's lots and lots of bubbles. That means that the yeast has activated. So what we're going to do now is make a well in the centre of our flour. We're just going to pour the liquid into the centre. Always keep a bit back just in case you've got a bit too much liquid there. Now you just want to gradually work the mixture together. Keep spinning the bowl and then you'll get a nice even mix. Once it comes together you can tip it out onto a board. Now it's the hard work part. We need to knead this for about 10 minutes. If you've got a KitchenAid or another mixer like that, you can put a dough hook on it and mix it using that instead, and it'll just take a couple of minutes on there. So when you're kneading, you're essentially stretching the gluten, but what you don't want to do is tear. So you don't want to tear the dough, pull it apart. You sort of need to treat it with respect. And what you're doing here with this motion is sort of gently stretching out. Every movement is stretching the gluten more and more to give that dough the elasticity it needs. Okay, so I can tell now by the feel of this that it's ready. It's springing back nicely. There's a slight stickiness to the outside of it as well. So I'm just going to form it into a rough ball shape. And then I'm going to lightly grease a bowl so it doesn't stick. Put the dough inside and we're going to leave that to pre for 45 minutes. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to make a ridiculously easy pizza sauce. And so all this is, is a small tin of tin tomatoes and two tablespoons of tomato puree. Now blend that together so you've got a nice smooth sauce. And that's it, it's the perfect base for a pizza, it's nice and straightforward. So as you can see, this is now doubled in size after 45 minutes proving. So the dough here is enough to make two large pizzas, or you could make four smaller ones if you wanted to. So I'm just going to flour the surface, gently tip it out. And this part of making bread is called knocking back, so you knock all the air back out of it again. I'm just going to split it into two. Quick knead to knock the air out. Now these are now going to need a second shorter proof, so the best thing to do is try and get them into a rough ball shape, because this will make it easier for us to get them out into pizza, pizza rounds once they're proved. Now once you've got that shape, a nice way to get a really, really nice round is to just roll them. It's the same as you would do if you're shaping a bread roll. You can feel when they're done because you'll feel the shape of the dough actually come into a ball and it almost rises up into the palm of your hand. So now we're going to leave these on a tray and we're going to give them a further 15 minutes to prove in a warm place. So our dough is proved for the second time. We've obviously got enough dough here to make two pizzas, but I'm just going to make one for now to show you. So I'm just going to flour the surface again. Now the way I was taught to shape a pizza base, just pat the air out of it first. Start it off with a rolling pin, just to start getting that rounded shape. Keep adding flour so it doesn't stick. Now once you've started to get the shape, The way I do it is to pick it up, you rest it on both of your hands, you use your thumbs where you want your crust to be. So you want to keep the edge thicker than the centre. So if you keep your thumbs around the edge like this and just keep turning the dough on your hands, you're obviously aiming to get a nice thin base in the middle. Try not to make any holes in it, but if you do, it doesn't really matter. So we're getting there with this starting to get a little bit thin in the middle, so I'm just going to pinch that little bit together. Now it's very important that you move your pizza dough onto your tray or your piece of foil before you start putting the toppings on, because otherwise you'll have no chance of being able to move it. So I'm going to do mine onto foil, which I'm going to just drizzle with a bit of olive oil. Sprinkle a little bit of sea salt and some pepper on. I'm just going to transfer this quickly. So you can see we've got a nice flat centre, we've got a little bit more thickness around the edge which is ideal and that's also the line to where we're going to take our sauce. So we've got a nice smooth tomato sauce here. It's very easy to go overboard with the amount of sauce you're using but you really don't need as much as you might think. Next we're going to put some grated mozzarella on top. 
Now, because we're putting blue cheese on this pizza, I would stick to mozzarella for the base because it's got quite a mild flavour. But if you wanted to make it a bit stronger tasting, if you didn't want to use blue cheese, you can mix this with a bit of mature cheddar. It'd be giving it a nice taste. Here we've got some diced and roasted butternut squash that I'm going to put on top. It's just seasoned with a bit of salt and pepper. Don't go overboard on the toppings because you'll find it's difficult to get your pizza base to cook all the way through if you do. And some blue cheese. This is my favourite blue cheese. It's made in Dorset. It's called Dorset Blue Vinny. It's a good idea to do it directly on the tray because it means you get a nice direct heat from the underneath. So I've got the oven on 200. It's going to need about 20 to 25 minutes, but just keep an eye on it because you don't want it to get black around the edges. Okay, so our pizza's been in for about 20 minutes now and I can see it's getting a really nice colour on top. I'm just going to slide it onto a board. Now you can cut this the traditional way, which is obviously just cut it into segments, but I think it looks really nice if you cut it a bit more, a bit more crazily, it's a bit more modern. So if you go in half, Cut it across maybe for some. And then finally, we're just going to top that with some watercress, which after a minute or two will just wilt really nicely on top. And finally, a little bit of olive oil. And there you go. Watercress, butternut squash and blue cheese pizza.